Welcome to the Alan AI video tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to create a voice assistant and integrate it into your Android app written in Kotlin. And the whole process will take you just 5 minutes. To make this happen, we'll be using the Alan AI platform that provides you with all the AI libraries, tools and components needed to build an intelligent and personalized voice assistant from scratch. Let us start. First, we'll head on to studio.alan.app Create an account here and sign in. Now we'll click Create Voice Assistant and give it any name we want. Let it be My First Android Assistant. When we create a voice assistant, Alan automatically adds a voice script or the dialogue scenario for it. In our script, we already have the first intent. So if we say Hello World, the voice assistant will get back with Hello or Hi there. Let's check it. Hello World. Hi there. Time to bring our voice assistant to the app. Let's create it in Android Studio and choose some nice template, for example, tapped activity. Make sure you select Kotlin for the app language and set the minimum SDK version to 21 or higher, since this is a requirement of Alan's client SDK for Android. We'll click Finish and run our app to see how it looks. To embed our voice assistant into the app, we need to add a few code snippets. You can find them in the integrations view in Alan Studio. Choose the necessary platform, Android and the Kotlin language. First, we'll add a Maven dependency to our project. Click copy to the right of the first block and open the build Gradle file at the module level. Scroll down to the dependencies block and insert the copied line here. Your Gradle file has changed, so don't forget to sync your project. Second, we need to insert the voice assistant button into our XML layout. Open the activity main file, switch to the code view and add the copied snippet. We'll move the Allen button to the left for it not to overlap the floating button already available in the app. The only thing left is the code for the Allen button itself that goes to the main activity file. Here we have a unique project key. It tells Alan to which project it should connect when users start interacting with the voice assistant. You can also notice the code for the command handler and we'll talk about it in the next video when we review how we can do things in the app with voice. We'll insert the code into the onCreate callback. Here goes the whole code snippet except for the Allen button variable. Then we need to import all the classes used in the code. Let's run it and try our voice assistant in the app. Hello world! Hi there! To extend your dialogue, you can simply add new intents to the voice script, and you do not need to recompile your app. Check it out. Hey Alan, is it going to rain today? The probability of rain is 90%. Now, try it yourself to create a voice assistant of your own for an Android app with Alan AI, and stay with us to learn more. 